Salam and welcome back to the island of visual arts. My name is Visha and today let's make some glass morphic icons. I was scrolling through my Instagram feed the other day and came across these beautiful glass morphic icons made by someone named Sintai Studio. Now the idea is not entirely new, it's been around for a while now and I thought it would be uh, great to recreate them whilst teaching you guys um, how to design a glass morphic icon. So let's get to it. Okay, I'm gonna be using uh, Adobe XD for a change this time around. Um, XD has become immensely powerful over the years uh, with a background blur and Lottie files integration and all. Okay, we are inside of uh, Adobe XD. Let's select Web 1920. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring uh, that uh, reference picture into uh, Adobe XD. Let's do that real quick and let's bring it over here and i'm gonna select the rectangle tool and make a rectangle right about there and then i'm gonna select the selection tool and select both of them and right click and mask with shape so this is gonna like isolate the the uh the icon that we are gonna uh, be recreating Okay, let's take the rectangle tool. Um, let's hide this part for a while. Okay, let's take the rectangle tool and make a rectangle just like that. And we're gonna remove the border. Uh, give it a fill of like bluish color. Something like that. We can like round the uh, radius of the corners like so. And you can make a copy of this layer by right clicking and go to copy, right click, paste and you can like move it like right about so uh, just look at this uh, the reference. Something like this would be good enough. Maybe you can give it a different color uh, just for now. Right click, send to back. Okay, let's go ahead and copy this gradient. So I'm going to select this rectangle and I'm gonna go to fill and go here and click linear gradient and I'm gonna give this slider um, pick the color picker and I'm gonna give it maybe like this color and uh, select this slider and give it maybe like um, this color next up let's uh, select this rectangle and let's give this guy scroll down here um, and let's give this guy a background blur just like that and we can like adjust the blur amount you can see the blur amount from here like maybe 10 I think is good enough I guess and um, we can increase the opacity to bring back some of the some of the blue so let's do that like so one thing we can do is we can give this guy a gradient as well like maybe a blue color like for the top slider and uh, for the bottom slider we can give maybe like um like a light bluish color it's something like this now let's go ahead and um draw these rectangle uh, stripe thingies let's bring the mouse to the center and I'm gonna press alt key and if we look around this area you can see that there's a sort of a drop shadow and a sort of a gradient which we can copy exactly that um, let's go ahead and make it round we can do this or we can like go here and put give a value like five let's get rid of the border and uh, let's give a shadow drop shadow and uh, you can play around uh, with the shadow uh, to get a better result for me i think two and three 
would be good enough i guess let's give like two and two maybe we can give uh the shadow blue as well we can make the shadow bluish and like decrease this slider uh to make it less blue but maybe we can like give it a gray color grayish blue one thing you can do is you can give a gradient for this as well like select gradient give it like like an off white and you can make other sliders um, in between these two sliders so you can like click click here and you can drag that around like that I don't know if you can notice uh, but this is like shifting the gradient amount the white amount increasing the white amount and decreasing the gray uh, the gray amount so let's play around and uh, see for yourself uh, what works best for you uh, I'm gonna copy this now by pressing the alt key and dragging it down like so and you can select both of these layers by pressing the shift key and again by pressing alt key you can copy this like so and maybe you can make it shorter the last piece of text now I'm gonna make a copy of this right click copy and right click paste and I'm gonna get rid of the fill this time and give a border and uh, give a white color and uh, maybe like outer stroke maybe like one point one point five I guess yeah uh, let's give a rounded joint and outer stroke and uh, we're gonna uh, make this instead of uh, background blur we're gonna select object blur okay this is getting interesting now so when you make the in, uh, object blur you do something like this maybe like 0.5 okay now let's go ahead and copy this like shadowy uh, area let's take uh, maybe like a circle and we can like draw a circle just like that and maybe get rid of the border and uh, let's select a fill color let's just copy this fill color it will be much easier right click send to back and we can make object blur for this one as well we can like make it like 30 percent i guess and like make it bigger if you want and like if you want to make the shadows darker you can do that as well i guess it's coming together uh, maybe we can like get rid of this outer stroke uh from down here and only appear uh, from the top so we can do something like this we can send this backward or uh, we can bring this these guys forward you can select this this gloss rectangle and press the shift key and you want these guys to come forward as well so right click bring front so that's gonna sort of uh, get rid of uh, stroke amount from the bottom like so now as you can see when we put a uh, color behind like so it sort of uh, changes the color so we can like give it a we can change the color all right i think i will end the tutorial right about here i will leave a link to the project file uh, in the description if anybody wants to download and play around um, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already um, there are still a couple of more um, icons that we can still uh, make so if you like this tutorial series uh, make sure to subscribe and leave a like and comment down below if you have any suggestions i hope i'll see you guys in the next video until then salam the more i get to know the more i learn to live wish that i can be somebody that can live just like you did and now that i know my life